Life is full of challenges. I should have paid more attention. It's how we respond that charts the path forward. I saw it as a challenge and that I was not going to let it beat me. Terrence Affer Anderson is a survivor, diagnosed with prostate cancer when he was 59 years old. But the diagnosis didn't shock him. By mere virtue of the fact that you're an African American, you know, uh, it's something that should really be explored. According to the American Cancer Society, African American men are more likely to get prostate cancer than other men. It's reported one in seven African American men will be diagnosed compared to one in eight white men. They're also more than twice as likely to die from the disease. Local doctors have been looking into why the racial disparity exists. We're uncovering the genetics of prostate cancer more and more every year, and there are some significant contributions there. So if your father, brother, or uncle has been diagnosed, your risk goes up. In addition to genetics, the Sentara Health Equity Division is looking at socioeconomic factors. A lot of times it's because of lack of insurance. Healthcare is very expensive. And if you don't have insurance, then how are you going to pay for that care? City by city, Greater Hampton Roads reports the highest disparity of prostate cancer is in Portsmouth, followed by Suffolk and Virginia Beach. That really is a, is a population that uh, you know really needs attention. They need to get the message across that they have to get that first check, that PSA, they have to follow up, they have to realize they're not invincible. It's recommended that African American men get tested as early as 45 years old. When it's as simple as a blood test, it makes it even more you know, frustrating on our end that we can't get guys in to just get the blood test, check the number, and go from there. Because not everyone diagnosed will die. The American Cancer Society reports that 3.1 million men in the United States who have had prostate cancer are still alive today, like Charlie Hill. I'm proud to tell you I'm going into my 18th year, and part of the reason for that is that I was diagnosed early enough. I knew what to talk about. I knew where to go and treatment options available. Sometimes it's surgery, sometimes it's radiation, sometimes it's, it's actual just pills, medications. But it's all about ending the stigma, getting people through the door to advocate for themselves. To further education, Affer Anderson created a film called The Black Walnut. There is a health scare to disproportionately impacting black men in America. Okay. It follows the lives of nine African-American okay, prostate cancer survivors, a urologist and medical oncologist. You need to know what can happen. And then the best way to do that, I think, is a slight example of, of real people who have had uh, a hellacious journey. Because with the disease that shows little to no symptoms, awareness and early detection are key. The, the message here has to be, you, don't, you, you are gonna feel fine until it's too late. For more on local clinics that help with detection, head to WTKR.com. In Norfolk, Aaron Miller, News 3.